What's up, guys? Uh, just wanted to apologize ahead of time. Um, I've been moving everything over to OBS because I've been doing a lot of streaming. Uh, had some issues uh, with the recording I made, saved in the FLV format, and I was figuring out how to convert the file to MP4. Uh, and unfortunately, I deleted the original uh, before I figured that out. But got it all sorted out, so no more videos will be this bad quality. This is a very low resolution video. But uh, was our CWL, 6 0 win. Hope you enjoy. What is going on, guys? Why is it here? Coming in with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. This was our week six CWL matchup versus North. Remembers, we were looking forward to this one. Friendly challenging all week. Some newer strategies kind of came out with base building. Um, honestly, a lot of hype for us going into this week. And obviously, we wanted to try and keep our perfect record perfect. And we did 98.72% to 96.4%. A lot closer than we thought. Um, I can tell you. This war, we we dominated. Our 10s came out, I think we had over a 50% hit rate for our 10s. Really good job all across the map. Um, of course, a little recap juice. Uh, but we, we were just crushing it the whole war. And then when the war got near the end, North remembers stuck to their guns, bullied a bunch, and, you know, was, it was just did their thing and came, brought it back. They could have had the victory. They needed to hit an 11, uh, sorry, they, need, they had two total 12 attacks, one of them being a bully versus an 11, and then one town hall 10 attack that if they got the if they got the bully, the 10v and the 12v, they would have had 74 stars and we would have lost. Um, so it came down to the end of the war. We had already had our attacks, and all of a sudden they're like in this position to win. I'm like, we're all like, oh my God, are we going to lose this war? <coughs> Anyhow, their 12 made a valiant attempt and did not get the 12 versus 12, and we came away with a percentage victory. So, snuck away with one there, uh, but love it. 6 and 0, 2.0. Love you guys. Tons of attacks. Like I said, our Town Hall 10s were just on fire. And I'm just going to start down. I am not going to show all of. Um, I'm not going to show uh, every attack. Eric and I are going to redo that episode we had um, tried to do before. So we're trying to reintroduce uh, Slay My Base. Um, now, <clears throat> uh, this video should be good. And I didn't get too many base submissions yet. So again, I'm still going to post that link. Post my email. It's in previous videos. It'll be in the next video with Eric. Send me some bases. Um, I'm going to build a few bases. And Eric's going to be sort of hitting them uh, maybe once a week, once every two weeks, something like that, depending on the time. Uh, but... Is what it is. So I'm not showing all the attacks because Eric and I are going to go through a bunch of these attacks together uh, as soon as I've done this recap, actually. Uh, I'm starting in a couple of these lower tier ones. Got Mixa going in with some hogs. Obviously, these Town Hall 9 defenses um, really are easy to push through with things like hogs. Uh, he's just going to go ahead and get a couple nice little bowler bounces and sends in a shattered entry to Golems, one down on either side at 12 o'clock. Wizards in for the standard funnel. Bowler balance has kind of worked. That little mini, nice job. That mini, I love seeing minis and good value out of your funnel. You could have just dropped the whiz, but what a die to that cannon right after. So really nice job. <clears throat> Wall Wreckers going into this level two multi infernal. It really is not doing any damage at all to these golems and uh, Wall Wrecker. So he's going to get good push into the base. Get right into this big compartment. Take care of that clan castle. Down goes the poison. Queen's going to hop on out and try and do its work, but it gets frozen, and all the Clan Castle troops go down. You can see this King lock onto the Queen here in one second. Smack her in the face. Down she goes. Peace out. Wall Wrecker's going to bust down this compartment. That's all he needs, though. Rage goes down. Probably a touch early, but no big deal. Bowler's going to hop on out, smash all that stuff, and Hogs have already started coming in from the 10 o'clock location. You can see the nice V cut out of the base. Perfect path. He's sort of straight down to six and back up to three. <clears throat> really just has to worry about spring traps, get some proper heals in place. You're going to see nice heal, get all those hogs right back up to health, his main clump of hogs. Sends in a few flanking hogs at the Teslas. Uh, they jump inside that heal right when that bomb goes off as well. So only loses, I think, one or maybe two. Skellies come out and the king comes out. King ends up being a bit of a nuisance to this raid. It's got so many hogs up to this point, but still sort of a bunch of 
defenses to run around. You see this defensive king just go into town. So luckily they do a bit of a split and draw the king sort of away from the group of them. Just got to get that, uh, then the bomb too. Double bomb right there. Brings a lot of his hogs down. He's got the skellies working on him. You're going to see barely, he doesn't even get this cannon down on the far side. But what's this coming up in the middle? King, bowlers, wizards, mini, still some golems and giants, uh, or golem piece and a giant up there. Uh, so the uh, his king takes out the defensive king. It's going to start beating on a wall. But really the main key is there is only one cannon. Far too many troops. Just got to blast through all of this trash. And this base is done for. King's going to get in there, do a little tanking. Perfect. Nice job. Mix it with the three-star. All right. You got waves going in on this uh, other lower level, uh, lower tier, uh, Town Hall 10. She's just going to straight up bitch it. Uh, classic waves here. Just dropping a few witches on other sides. A couple healers. Going to go ahead and basically drop the wall wrecker and funneling troops, a.k.a. a bunch of bowlers. Smash all that stuff. Let the wall wrecker get as deep as possible into this very sort of low defense base. And once she gets to this back side, it's GG. Really just got to make sure that Inferno goes down along the way. So many air defenses and the only little clump of uh, threatening defenses down there at the bottom at six. But no big deal. You can see the witches get good value with those healers. Work their way just around both sides of the base. It's got the queen in there. Finally bursting that hound. And it has bowlers jumping up now in that rage. Nice little free spell. Would have preferred to see it on the, uh, you could have got all three, the Inferno, the Expo, and that Arch Tower, but whatever. Smashing down that Inferno. As long as that goes down, King's doing a little bit of work on this side. And there's really only, like, not a lot left in this core. All the uh, major threat is down at the 6 o'clock with the Queen, Inferno, and all this stuff down there. But healers are still going strong on the flanks. Got witches going strong on the flanks. Heroes are still in the core, sort of working their way around. And... Uh, which I think what she liked about that was when I look at this base for like Ice Bitch or whatever, so that seems to be my go to attack right now. Um, I would have liked that as well because really you can just, your, your flanks are safe. Look at these healers. Finally, the first healer goes down on the raid and um, bounces to keep that one alive as well. But all the, all the air defense are down there, right? So the uh, queen steps up, takes care of the defensive queen, busts on in. She's going to help out with this Inferno Tower. This base is Dunsies. <clears throat> Just enough. Those healers, still a healer up. Love it. GG Neon. What's next? We're gonna skip. Oh no, was it 18? 18. 18? It showed 18. Oh yeah, 17 was a bully. The only bully we had. I think we could have had it too. Uh, we had a 98% Sui Lalo, and then the last guy who had a last town on 10 who had a hit. Made a hog hit. I thought that was sort of an interesting choice considering the 98% Lalo could have probably been cleaned up, but whatever uh, is what it is. Our tens came out to play. That one I'm not going to show right now. This one I am going to show. <laughs> Valve does these insane queen charges. And I think I showed one in the last recap. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to see his queen. He walks the queen down. Look at all these point defense. Two cannons, expo. We're going to have that arch trial locking on soon. A couple splash defense. Another expo. We're going to have to use so much this defensive queen, but his goal is to walk the queen down, get all of this juicy defense out of the way, and kill the queen. And then he draws, sort of drops the uh, once, uh, drops the wall wrecker and the king over here. Make sure that clan castle goes down. But the other thing is to, to make sure his queen goes down was just unbelievable. It's the ability there because he just misses the healers out of the range of the uh, raids there. Does it matter? Most of the big threats are down now. Just got to walk on over. And you see these crazy wall breaks too that he does. So he gets this wizard tower locked onto the queen and then come the wall breakers just in time before the wizard tower goes down. So they target that corner. Otherwise they would have went somewhere over here and got blasted by that wizard tower. And then poison down over the CC troops. King goes in to help out as well. Just got to get that drag out of the way and all that crap. And... The heroes are going to step up and get even more value. And what's this? Three more wall breakers following this queen in. So the queen can now have access to this entire core. Just unbelievable, man. I can't do that shit. Just missing the mortar hit. Opens up that wall. In comes the Lalo from 6 o'clock. Right in on top of that Inferno Tower. Down she goes. 
Expo down, Loon or Blimp goes in. Blimp now is going to get popped. I sort of was interested at that Blimp placement because it goes right in and sort of just targets it, targets it, it, targets it now from the core of the base and gets that Inferno Tower out of the way for the Queen. Queen's going to just keep on going. Those healers are looking good. There's no defenses remaining in this base. Absolutely crushes it with this insane Queen charge. Nice job, Val. <laughs> Sex a dime. Man, I knew I should have made a fresh drink. Fresh drink. Oh, Tanu's ugly hit. <laughs> we were talking about this on stream. Uh, it's kind of funny. This is the one I wanted to show, right? I don't know. This is the one I wanted to show. You know what? I'm saving that for me and Eric to make fun of later. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, this one I'm also not going to show. Maybe not. No, it's supposed to be a surprise. But it's not a surprise with Eric. 14. So 14, 13, and 12. So I'm showing Warbles. Minor hit. Very interesting. So you're going to see this uh, pretty crazy base design. I liked it for Ice Switch. Again, I like any base for Ice Switch, so it's hard to say. It's just so ridiculous. I mean, I would have went in from this side with Ice Witch, which is in the army camps. Uh, we'll get that wall wrecker down early, some wizards to help out, a couple more witches on the core. Walk right in, freeze that Inferno, freeze those point defense, try and get to this Expo Chamber. Rage heal for your uh, wall wrecker troops and hopefully just push in. Now that Inferno on the very backside with these Teslas ends up would have probably been a bit of an issue. But anyways, you're gonna see Warble just decided to just minor the shit out of this base. Suicides the heroes in. We're gonna get this going. Nice, uh, nice work on the funnel on the outside, and miners come in with and the, the sorry, the heroes got the nice Teslas and all that shit away out of the back. And the miners go in with the wall wrecker, which has more miners in it. Just basically, you're going to see, like, look at the funnel. Look at it on either side of the base. There is no trash. All the miners are going to do is work through the, all the defenses. So with the four heals and the rage, things are looking pretty good. He's using all the spells for these miners. Just got to slowly work on through this base. They are so freaking slow sometimes. But you see their work. Nice little poison over the skellies. Keep the miners going. Rage over the expos. Nice job there. Got to get a few more skellies out of the way. Still has one heal for the back end and a ton of miners going. <clears throat> Finally, some miners getting into that final uh, queen chamber there at the three o'clock position. And it has them all over the base. Pop goes the bomb tower. It's not enough to stop these miners. Beautiful job. Working on through. Interesting choice for this base. I like it just because of the sort of um, easy funnel you're able to create for the miners. You do have to get that builder's hut down at six o'clock. Done. Nice hit, Warbs. Nice. Um, ten. Oh, those miners. Yeah. So we're not showing ten. We show JP, the Ice Witch. I was actually super pumped this war. I was on stream. Uh, I think I streamed this attack. Um, but honestly, I just, I was at work till like, I don't know, it's off. That's right, it's off on Friday. Um, and of course, my daughter hit today. She did not want to go to bed. And it was like 9.30 or something like that. I'm like, oh man, I thought I was going to start streaming. So usually she goes, she's no problem going to bed at like 7.30, 8 o'clock even. And uh, no, no, not last night. So uh, I decided to go in, use this sort of little free uh, passage for the witches to get in, create the funnel on this side. Same thing, just top of this wall here, let the witches get good value on this side. I do lose uh, a healer to a troll black bomb on the outside. Uh, so the, these witches end up fizzling out faster than I'd hope. You can see the triple freeze I'm going to use on this clan castle. I really just said, look how damaged that wall record was. I needed to reach the queen. So I did drop that. But once that wall went down, drop the heal, drop the rage, get everything in. I have a second rage I was going to bring for the kill squad. Um, to use on the client castle, but the wall record just was scaring me, so I held on to it. Uh, ended up working out. I used the rage for the heroes, a little freeze on the backside uh, expo. Probably could have got that tested too, but it didn't really matter at that point. 
Green's going to step on up. You're going to see this rage go down for this backside now. I wanted to use it there because the king was taking hits from that inferno. I wanted him to beat this wall down. I needed to make sure that the um, that the uh, troops got let out. You see that both heroes get out of that inferno tower range just in time, which is really nice. Have to burn the queen ability here in one second because it does lock on her for a bit. But as soon as I uh, hit, hit it, inferno tower gets distracted by the skellies and all that other shit moving around. So really, it's just a matter of time now. This point down goes Archer Tower, rest of the trash, beat through that wall. See you later, Inferno Tower. Three stars in the bag for JP. CWL six pack. Gotta love it. All right, what else we got here on this little list? Oh, my. Great. Horrible using the dragons. Uh, 11 balloons, 7 dragons. Interesting comp. I love it. Uh, I'm sure Eric had his hand in the planning of this. He's loving those drags. But really, this side-by-side -side air defense, triple zap quake. Um, oh, he only needs to bring the two zaps, actually, because they are so close together. Uh, so nice job with that. Doesn't even need the earthquake, I will note. <laughs> so he uses the earthquake. All those expos in that core, the high value stuff. So really good choice to uh, use the earthquake. Brings it just in case when the air defense didn't go down, but they did. Suicide those heroes in on one side. He's going to get a nice little funnel going for his drags here. Drops that early gob in the town hall. Wants to get that out of the way. Goes ahead and drops the balloon in there to try and get a little value, I guess. Or maybe to, uh, maybe it's for a black bomb or something. Just to see. Or maybe just pull the clan castle out. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, going to take care of that baby D a little bit. Clan Castle veers out and nice little funnel for this like rectangular shaped base. It's gonna go ahead and just work right through the core with these dragons, getting a little bit of funneling going on either side. See the barbs from the uh, from the king and the gobby now have that town hall down. A little free spell to let uh, the dragons work their way through until they can get over onto that inferno tower. Go ahead and drop that raise the skellies from the uh, the clan castle. Posed to be a bit of an issue because that Inferno Tower was just working on a couple of dragons. Uh, but they finally worked through it. Gets that rage down. going to work through the Expos. And in comes the Blimp. In comes the Hound. In comes the 11 Balloons helping things out on the backside from 3 o'clock. Gets that haste down. Want to work those max balloons in for as much value. Gets that Inferno Tower out of the way. Basically gets that entire section taken care of. <clears throat> Jump on the Expo. Down it goes. Let those dragons work in on those final defenses at 12 o'clock. Even a couple balloons left to help out. Beautiful. Let the dragons in. Down goes last few defenses. Pups arrive just in time for the cleanup. Bam, bam, bam. Like always with drags, time always seems to be an issue, but don't matter at this point. Warble comes away with a three star. Nice job, buddy. Uh, Scorpion bringing a minor hit as well. 39 minors. <laughs> Why not, right? Gets an early bowler now. Uh, thought that was interesting. It was out of, or was in range of this uh, mortar, so I wasn't really sure what the point of that was. Um, if anything, might have uh, might have wanted to drop it. Well, maybe he thought he could. I don't know. Interesting choice, nonetheless. But you're gonna see suicide heroes at twelve and three, just getting the funnel going. Drop thirty nine miners with the wall wrecker, and let's go. Don't need the wall wrecker to get very far. Um, Interesting, a max hog comes out of the wall, uh, I guess because of the because it's miners. But um, you're gonna see them work through it. He's got 45 some miners in the base right now, four or five heals, sorry for them. Poison goes down, heal over the queen, down it goes. These miners at 12 are gonna do their thing, make sure those defenses go down up there, which is great. Still has a ton of them working on through, and as long as these last two heals are money, which are basically gonna come at the corner sections of the base. Just got to work through a few more things. The really defensive king is the only thing that can be a huge problem at this point. But gets that poison down nice and early. Up come the skellies, and those are going to get taken out by the poison too. So you get double duty on that poison. Very nice. Let's the miners continue doing their thing. See that heal down at the uh, 9 o'clock little section. And now one more over this wizard tower. And work through his last few defenses like no problem. That is a three star in the bag for Scorp. Nice job, man. 39 miners, that's so funny. 43, 44 miners. On that hit. All right, let's get some 11V action. So a lot of our 11s were trying this new sort of blimp. You're going to see it right here. So it comes out of the blimp. He's got a clone spell, two clone spells. Goes ahead and drops the, uh, gets the blimp, drops the double clone on the electro drag. 
and gets the clone on it and you're gonna see they just go to town they take care of basically you know 20 percent plus of this base <clears throat> sucks they lock onto that king there that was the only thing you can see the the clone sort of fade away here in a second but has this Lalo come in now. It really is only these, uh, it's a nice V-shaped, huge funnel has been created. They do so much damage to all the buildings and it is still uh, sitting there. Finally, the clone phase, but almost got the Eagle Cannon out of the way, which would have been absolutely huge, but it doesn't really matter. He's got so many balloons, almost like 30 balloons coming in now. I'm gonna go ahead and get some cleanup troops going down right behind. Still has those heroes in there doing work as well. Keeps the heroes basically for cleanup because he sends a warden with the balloons and they just work through the base. Just like no defenses to go here. Just absolutely crushing it. Clean up now at this point. Like, what? <laughs> How many troops does he have left? <laughs> so ridiculous. Absolutely smashes that low tier uh, down to 11. Nice job, JC. Three in the bag. Our 11s were on fire too. Absolutely. <clears throat> so same thing. Warp's gonna bring that uh, clone electro drag out of the blimp. Thirty balloons, three lava hounds. So here comes the uh, the blimp. It's gonna go ahead and drop right over top of this inferno and all this jazz, and do the same thing that JC did with that raid spell. The clan castle taken out of the way. There goes the clone. Up comes the e drags. Just blasting stuff now. Under the raids, they just instantly pop buildings down right so this whole section falls and then they kind of just veer off and start doing some cleanup <clears throat> beautiful suicide heroes now down in from 10 o'clock a couple of minis sort of help create a bit of a funnel basically using these heroes to take care of these two air defenses and some jazz at the 10 o'clock section and he's going to go ahead and start the lalo i think he brings the lalo in right from 12 behind this sweeper which is perfect i think Pretty sure. I would have started the Lalo by now. Oh, there we go. So, a few balloons. Just wants to target in. It's got it. Yeah, there it is. So, first Lava Hound goes in. Everything's going to lock onto that 12 o'clock. It's really just nice spread on that. You're going to get the backside loons coming in right behind the sweeper. So, it goes uh, nice little haste as well. So, basically, he's going to get that sweeper down before anything goes over this expo. Because the sweeper was up, they would have pathed to the expo and then got pushed over top of the Wizard Tower, but they did not. Raid spell down over the expo is now going to move straight on over to that eagle cannon. Down it goes. Beautiful. Still has the warden ability. Why not hit it? Let all those balloons get right in on top. Keep the lava hounds going as long as possible. Now goes the air defense. Only a handful of defenses remaining now. Blam. Oh, I want to drink. Might have to do a, uh, do a shot. No, I don't have any good shot stuff left. Ugh. Gonna be risky. Oops, what is this? Ugh, ugh. That's for like coffee. Anyways, warps. Nice fucking job, bud. Taking her down. My boy Obi. Love this guy. Deciding to bring the uh, the electro drag um, and sort of like a go go home. So watch this work out. I think he's got, I think he's got bowlers in his uh, wall record there. Go ahead and start anytime, buddy. Forget what the entry is on this one, actually. Uh, so, E-Drag from 12. I watched all these in times four just not too long ago. I did see quite a few. Though. I didn't see this attack for sure. I was at work today. So, um, so goes ahead and gets that E-Drag in. Uh, interesting choice for funneling, but he is going to get this entire section of base. So it's kind of interesting. Doesn't quite get that Warren defense down. No big deal. Does its job. So heroes go in with the wall record straight at the Inferno Tower compartment. Really wants to get the clan castle taken out of the way. Get the defensive queen taken out of the way. And you see this whole basically uh, 9 to 12 section of base is taken out. Nice little poisons, nice little freeze. Keep those balloons from breaking the wall wrecker, and that is really important. So he did need access to make sure he gets access to the defensive queen, because if he did not get that queen down, she would have had a heyday on the hogs. Ray spell goes down for all those bowlers, just rushing it. Warden ability to keep them going, make sure they don't take any damage. If he can clear up all this stuff, and he even gets the yeah, here goes the eagle defense. Down it goes. Kill squad is getting huge value. 
Hogs now come in from one to a buck. They're going to sort of work their way through this segregated part of the base <clears throat> with a couple heels. Has five more hogs. He's going to reinforce from three o'clock. There they are. And basically push everything down to these outer defenses. Now going down to six o'clock with three more heels. Down goes one. Beautiful. Out come the rest of the hoggies. And they're going to just far too many of them. Still has the warden going. Still has his king even going at this point. Hogs just have no defenses to stop them now. Really, the wizard tower is the only threat. He still has two heals. Probably could have swiped a heal on this one. And he might even. But just in case he drops it anyways, he definitely did not need that last heal. Absolutely crushed it, OP. Nice hit, my friend. The failest bully. One of the only failest bullies in CWL. Well, maybe not one of the only, but he's definitely up there in the leaderboards for... Uh, for 11 v 10 bullying action coming coming through with the 11 v's as well just freaking all around awesome climate so here's chief iggy going in with the standard bitch i think he goes between uh, nine and uh, six there absolutely giants go down nice little wall of giants wall of witches wall of bowlers absolutely just spamming it in i think what he saw was these alleyways that the wall wrecker is going to go down Going to get him into that eagle cannon, get him access to these backside expo sees that there's a lot of air defense taking him space back there. So the majority of defenses are basically on his entry here. Nice little heel there. <clears throat> Just got to let uh, the queen work on through the drag. Down goes the drag. Looking good. I thought that was the wall record was a little bit off. You would have wanted to drop it a little more to the south and it would have got a little bit better value. It doesn't really matter. It gets right into this uh, king chamber in the back. Queen's going to do this little hop off. Bowler's going to burst out of that wall record here in one second and smash up the king. Giant gets out in front, triggers the bomb, which is kind of nice. Down goes the defensive king finally. Down goes that eagle cannon. Queen got warden. Ton of witches, ton of bowlers on the back end. <clears throat> Queen's going to take out that expo. And really, this expo has like no health. And actually, this one ends up being a close one. Still has the king down there with his ability. Uh, but this stuff fizzles out. The flank going up towards 12 o'clock from the 9 fizzles out. And you see as this little little kill squad still going up from 3 to 12. Just got to work through those buildings. Like I said, there's a bunch of air defenses. Really the only threat once he gets through these uh, cannons and arch tower is this low hit point expo. You're going to see it sort of work out. Does lose his queen there, which was a bit of an issue. But so many witches, still a handful of bowlers. Base does not stand a chance. See you later, Bomb Tower. Hits that king ability, right, to work on through that stuff. Just got to bust on through the wall and take care of the expo. It just does not have to try so hard. It's like, there's so many skellies. No. Down it goes. Three in the bag for Chief. Nice freaking job, buddy. All right, so unfortunately, no 12v12 to show you. Had a couple of sort of close ones. Uh, the guys uh, guys gave their all, so we did have some attempts. Ooh. There's my shitty town online. She's in war for the first time in like ever. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, unfortunately, no 12 v 12s. Um, but honestly, awesome war. Uh, North remembers you guys. You guys scared us. We were shitting our pants for a minute. We uh, we thought there was a chance. Uh, we knew you guys had to be perfect on your few. But what a comeback! You guys stand up group over there. Absolutely um, <laughs> gave a run for our money. So. Anyways, I think that'll do it here. It's getting late. I got to jump on with Erickson. We're still going to make that uh, remake this video. Hopefully it goes well. It should. Uh, I'm going to use OBS for recording. I usually just use my shadow play, but for some reason shadow play is not recording the voice to Discord uh, very well. OBS picks it up perfectly. So uh, that should uh, that should uh, be good. Uh, look forward to that. Slay my base. Again, email your bases down below. Um, I think it's uh, Wiser Away. No, what is it? Wiser One Hive at uh, gmail.com. I don't know. It's going to be down there. Check it out. Click on it. Send me a base. Send me any base just for fun. Uh, but uh, that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser, guys. Until next time. Mo.